Hey guys, what's up? So first things first, before I get started with this video, I wanna let you know that the paperbook version of my cookbook is now available on Amazon. I'll put the link down below. I'm so excited and it feels so surreal. I was a little worried that it wasn't gonna happen for a bit there, but uh, it's now available. And if you try out any recipes, if you buy the book, definitely give me your feedback. I would love to hear it. And yeah, I'm gonna move on to the actual topic of this video. So first, a little backstory. Uh, I, okay, so trolls among YouTube is not uncommon. It happens and if, you know, sometimes I get the urge to reply, I will reply. Uh, sometimes if I wanna be sarcastic, which is most of the time, it's more therapeutic for me to, uh, Hi. She's playful. <laughs> it's more therapeutic for me sometimes to reply with sarcasm just because it, I don't know, it just makes me feel better. So it's kind of like this selfish thing. Anyways, so there's this person who is posting a lot of comments. Like they're kind of going through all my videos, watching all my videos and leaving comments. And a few of them just seemed a little bit ignorant, but they weren't completely horrible. But then as the day went on, it was like a few days in a row really, that the comments just got worse and worse and meaner and meaner. And it had to do with, uh, I mean, if just little things pertaining to, you know, my eyebrows. Like that's nothing new. We all know that people comment on my eyebrows all the time, there is nothing I can do about it, uh, but it's just those like little things that people don't necessarily need to pick about. And uh, talking about my arm and being, you know, mutilating myself and things like that. And those are like instant triggers for me to just be like, all right, fuck you. So <laughs> uh, I ended up blocking this person because I woke up at like three in the morning and I had uh, like another like five comments from this person and I immediately woke up from a dead sleep, went on YouTube, blocked it, and then just went back to sleep. Uh, I felt more at peace after that knowing that there was not going to be any more comments left on my videos to pick at me uh, personally and then this morning I get an email from this person so uh, this person definitely went out of their way to still contact me and uh, troll me in a sense which I wouldn't necessarily call them a troll I would just call them a very uh, ignorant, misunderstood person, uh, but because they did go out of their way, this is why I'm choosing to respond to them, because I don't want to respond to them personally via email. I feel like this might be something that a lot of people, like there's a lot of questions, she, she asked me a lot of questions and I feel like maybe a lot of people secretly want to know these questions uh, or the answer to these questions. So let this all be a learning experience, I guess. I'm just going to read the email and kind of respond accordingly as I go. Uh, I will put it up on the screen as well because it's kind of hard for you to like just listen to what I'm saying, I know that. Uh, so I'm gonna dive into this email Bear with me, I'm gonna try to make sense, but no promises. <laughs> All right, so email starts off. Dear Cody, hello, how are you? First of all, let me tell you that I find your videos to be those of a very authentic, genuine, and sweet person, and yet I feel the need to give you feedback. One, your website photos. The chef one seems angry, and I think the wound scar should be covered since it looks a bit scary. Smile. You have a lovely smile, why not show it? Thank you, uh, thank you for the compliment. Uh, however, if my scar bothers you, I apologize, but I don't find it something that I want to cover up. It's, uh, it's there, I can't do anything about it, I can't cover it up in, in real life, and when I do cover it up, I tend to get asked about it more. So, it doesn't bother me, I'm not ashamed of it. I'm sorry if it bothers you, but that's your problem. Moving on to number two. I tried to understand the transgender issue, especially since having met up with one who is MTF. I became fascinated. I identify with a lot of the issues you mentioned, and yet I guess I will never understand the need for surgery or hormones. Uh, Alright, well, 
you probably don't understand the need for surgery or hormones because you do not have gender dysphoria, you are not transgender, and it is okay to not understand it. However, I think the best thing for you to do when you don't understand something is to research and listen. So it's fine that you watch my videos. Uh, I do put them up there for educational purposes. I do know that there's gonna people gonna be people who don't understand or who do not agree with me or who do not agree with being transgender in, in general. But um, I put them out there to help other trans individuals and other people who want to learn more about it. So my suggestion is watch the videos and don't comment. Like just stop your fingers from typing anything into that comment, bo comment box. That's not a hard thing to do. Zip it and listen. Number three, what would happen if you stopped taking hormones? Do you care so much about appearance? So if I stopped taking hormones, I assume that I'd probably go in through, uh, so I'd probably go through something of, uh, similar to menopause or something along those sorts. I honestly haven't looked into it too much in depth because I don't ever plan to stop taking hormones because uh, I'm male and I'm taking these hormones for my own health. I don't really feel like going too much into the scientific scientific detail of what would happen if I stopped taking hormones. I'm lazy and I just want to continue responding to this email. Uh, do I care so much about my, my appearance? And no, but you're also asking me this question at the same time as telling me to hide my scar and to smile. So you're being very hypocritical just within this one email. Uh, let's move on to number four. Excuse me, but I struggle and yet never thought to ask strangers for money online. My transgender friend sadly works as a prostitute to support herself and her family. I tried to talk her into trying to, into getting it. I tried to talk her into trying into getting a job and failed. There are many trans people struggling, so why not set up a nonprofit and help them? Helping others like that would also make you feel more connected, I think. I need to do more for others too. So, I'm really sorry to hear about your friend. I think that when it comes to trans people, uh, especially trans women, uh, they're often kind of forced into sex work because it is harder to find a job. And I don't, I can't speak for, for anyone. I do come from a more privileged background. Of, I have passing privilege and things like that. Uh, but for you to tell your trans friend, are you actually friends? I feel like you're not actually friends. Uh, to tell them to get a job is incredibly insensitive and the reason you failed is because you just should never say that. You should never just, yeah, just stop. Uh, I'm thinking that maybe you should think more before you open your mouth. So when it comes to helping others, what are you doing to help others? Because right now with you commenting on all my videos some pretty mean things, that is not helpful. Uh, if you want to help others, you can start by shutting your mouth and listening and just watching without commenting or emailing me after I block you. Um, starting a nonprofit. That might be something that I do in the future. However, in order to help others, I have to help my, myself first. I'm not what you would call financially stable. I have some debt. I have school loans. I <laughs> have some surgeries that I'm that are approaching in the future that I might still have to be paying a good amount of money for. Uh, so I'm not exactly at that point in my life yet. Maybe somewhere down the road. But I also want to say that. I'm allowed to make a living and I'm allowed to care about myself at least a little bit. It kind of bothers me when people, like, because I'm trans, I'm not allowed to just care about myself. I have to have this attitude of continually giving and not ever uh, working on building my own financial security or my own health or like my own health or care about my own self. Um, I think that that's. Bullshit. If I, there's a lot of trainers out there who charge like triple the amount that I charge and no one says a damn thing. And the reason that I have a Patreon or the reason that I sell a cookbook is because I want to do my best to keep my prices low because I know that not everyone can afford a trainer and I do want to help. So um, my prices are actually quite low I, uh, and I know that for a fact. So. 
don't judge me uh, based on what I do and don't tell me that I'm not helping people because that is literally what I'm trying to do. Number five, anxiety. I share your feelings of anxiety. Sometimes I write nonsense on YouTube or make silly films. I listened to the talk you gave and I hope you will tr check out Tai Chi or yoga. I practice yoga, whatever. <laughs> They're in California too and have been axing support system. Um, cool, I'm sure yoga is very helpful for anxiety. I'm glad it is helpful for you. Uh, I work out for my anxiety and maybe I'll try yoga in the future, but I'm good for now. Thanks for the suggestion. Uh, number six, I feel it is sad how intolerant people are to hearing criticism. My main objections to transgender operations and hormones are for young people choosing to be infertile at such a young age and also health risks. So uh, it's not that I'm intolerant to hearing criticism, it's just that I never asked for your criticism. So before you criticize, uh, you're also telling me you don't understand the transgender experience. So I don't think that it's your place to criticize or you don't really have the right to do that yet or at all. Um, this is not your personal experience. Everyone has a lot of different journeys. It's kind of like, would you criticize someone that's on the autism spectrum or someone who uh, has depression or anxiety like yourself? These are all issues that are specific to each individual and you shouldn't criticize something that you have no experience with. Uh, the reason I'm intolerant is also your wording. The comments that you used on my channel were very mean. <laughs> that sounds very immature and like preschoolish, but to tell me that I'm mutilating myself, to tell me that my scar is scary, uh, to tell me that my eyebrows are too feminine and the list goes on and on and on. If you want to criticize, you should do it in a more mature way. Uh, you know, constructive criticism is a thing and that is not something that you are offering me. Is it not possible to be a tomboy and are you not giving society too much power over you, how you appear. So, no, it's not possible for me to be a tomboy because I am not a tomboy. I'm a man. And if I could be a tomboy and be happy that way, I would surely have stayed that way. No one wants to go through the pain that I've gone through and many of the other people in the community. We're doing what we have to do for ourselves. Like, this is something this is not a choice, and I think that's where the biggest misunderstanding comes from. Uh, you're thinking of it as something that we are choosing to do, and that is not the case. Like, if you want to see what I looked like when I was trying to please society and didn't care about my health, and this is what I looked like when I was trying to please society. Uh, she goes on to say, I feel sad. I cannot encourage you more on your path. I hope the comments on how to improve your website were helpful. No, they weren't helpful, but thanks. Uh, as a black sheep, I do like you, but I wonder whether this transgender surgery is not making too many people dependent on doctors. Uh, thanks for being the black sheep and liking me. I didn't know that, that, that you had to be a black sheep to like me. Uh, <laughs> As for the surgeries, there's a lot of things that people have to depend on doctors for. Uh, just continuing to be a healthy person, you need to go to the doctor. So uh, is this something that is making me having to depend on doctors more? No. Am I having to depend on them more at this point in my life? Yes, because I'm in the middle of a transition, but this is not forever. She asks, isn't there another path? I gave up on society and its opinions of me and trying to please. Is there another path? No. Like I said, this is not a choice. Uh, this is something that I have to do for myself to be mentally healthy and physically healthy. healthy. And I hate that you keep bringing up society and how I'm trying to please society because you're also telling me to smile and to hide my scar and all these things. I know I've kind of already talked about this repeatedly already, but you keep asking me the same question. Okay, I'm living on my own with two dogs and fighting anxiety by YouTube and music and singing even if I don't sound good. Good job, keep doing that. Uh, I hope you will find a good path now that you have been through so much to find a spiritual path and not care so much about what others think, including myself. Alright, uh, you're beautiful no matter what they say and it seems most people find you beautiful inside and out. 
Enjoy your path, and please forgive my unkind comments. Uh, okay. I'll forgive your unkind comments, but please, do me a favor. Don't talk anymore. <laughs> Educate yourself. Watch as many videos as you want. I will unblock you, but don't comment. Unless it's nice. I mean, it, did your mother ever teach you if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. Go by that lesson in your life while you watch these YouTube videos. I wish you to be well and to enjoy yoga. Mm, sorry, not my thing. I'm sure it is great for you and I appreciate the suggestion. Uh, blessings and many thoughts. I do wish you will be able to connect to people outside the LGBT because it seems limiting. I myself don't like close groups. As for churches, how about the Quakers? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm just done with churches altogether, but thank you. Uh, as far as reaching outside the LGBT community, I feel like I already have. Um, I don't restrict myself to just the LGBT community, and I never planned on doing that. So, yeah. Anyways, that was the email that I received that I wanted to respond to through voice through video because I didn't want to type all that out and because when someone takes the extra effort to email you after you after you block them then that's what you get I guess uh, in all honesty you guys I'm not trying to be mean I'm just <sighs> trying to not lose my mind stop on that note I'm gonna say goodbye uh, I appreciate everyone who watches and who doesn't say mean things in the comment section. I know that not everyone understands, and that's completely fine, but it's not every trans individual's job to educate people, even though I choose to do that through video. Um, so yeah, that is it. Thanks so much guys for watching. Don't forget, the cookbook is now available. I will link that down in the description below. And uh, I appreciate everyone who does leave me kind comments. It means the world to me. And it, yeah, these sorts of things are just way smaller uh, because I do get a lot of positive and I appreciate that very much. So, all right. Say bye, Carly. Bye-bye. <laughs> all right, peace out, guys. I'll see you next time.